Folks, see you next time. Welcome, Caleb. And that means that flashing or fluorescent lights cause me neurological and emotional difficulties. They spur on anxiety and stupidity at the same time. Hey, I could run for public office. <laughs> See, I'm going to enter the fluorescent lights at Walmart and get really confused and have trouble making rational decisions about what to buy. <laughs> so last time I came out with 35 boxes of chamomile tea and a case of Nodos to go with it. <laughs> so fluorescent lights also really affect my ADD. So I went into Victoria's Secret to buy something and I really wanted to get out of there right away. I should have put something on over the see-through bra first. <laughs> this is a very hard condition to get accommodated for. I was working at a disability employment services organization and I asked for them to change the lighting. So then I was complaining about working on the porch. <laughs> and and so the lighting was completely different when they fired me and sent me home. <laughs> when I go out to eat, the wait staff think I'm crazy because when they ask me where I want to sit, I look up. So I've given up the long explanation and I just tell him I don't want to sit under a UFO. <laughs> so a while back I went on a carnival cruise and they had flashing lights everywhere. And when I said, the strobe lights cause seizures, they always said, oh, but they're fun. <laughs> Well, some people think the same thing about S&M, but you don't see whips and chains on the dining room table. <laughs> but then I was wondering why they turned the dance floor into a dungeon. <laughs> so when I'm driving at night and I run across a herd of fine bicyclists with those flashing headlights, I never can decide if they're suicidal or homicidal. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to run them over in self-defense. <laughs> but then in this state, I would probably get off easier if I just shoot them. <laughs> so in my clubs, I've come up with this totally new way of dancing. My partners think, I'm really cool. But really, I'm just trying to keep the lights out of my eyes. And if that doesn't work, I'm even cooler, because then I get to do the involuntary break dance. When I complain about the lights, people think I'm being overly dramatic. But they think it's normal for people who witness a seizure to have a panic attack. So, but it's really hard to administer emotional CPR when you're doing the involuntary breakdown. They used to burn epileptics at the stake. Today we are much more sophisticated and we would never do that. We have strobe lights on all the fire alarms. <laughs> Fluorescent lights cause problems for about 15% of the population, giving the government a good way of neutralizing us. Because if you're not, if the, something in my head is not quite right, um, if you're not having trouble with the lights, then the psychotropic meds in the water supply will get you. <laughs> 
So not only do fluorescent lights trigger seizures, they also worsen ADD. It's amazing how much calmer a class of third graders gets when you just turn off the lights. <laughs> then again, it helps to bind and gag them. <laughs> Because brain assault light, lighting is now government mandated almost everywhere, everywhere I go, I take my visor, a blindfold, and a bag of 10 clamp lamps. And that's just to subdue the idiots that won't accommodate me. <laughs> so I read on AccessibleLighting.com that fluorescents can cause fatigue, worsen mania, and autism, and a whole lot more. So maybe the solution is just to turn off the lights. Sure, you'd have 15% of the population in the dark, but then they'd just be sitting in the same place as the people who make the mental health policy. <laughs> So remember, fluorescent lights are like stairs to the wheels of our minds. Ramp up for better functioning. Get LEDs. Do you see anything?